Hello and welcome to the Geek Den for issue 65 of our R2-D2 build. So, let's crack on. So, first things first, let's uh, open this up. It looks like we need the little, um, little plastic screws here. <clears throat> just here. Let's just open this up. Uh, so, all I get these off just by twisting. Um, it does say to twist them off. Uh, you can cut them if you like. But I'll just uh, twist these off like so. Uh, also, there's a little knack to this. So, here is our, our head of R2. Um, I'm trying to push all these wires out of me. Basically, we're just going to follow this line round. Uh, now, I think the best I found the best way to do this is to hand screw them in first, and then to tighten them up with the Allen key. So that's what I'm going to go and do. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've done this. So basically, these were the ones we've done last time, and these six here are the ones we've done this time. Now, what we need to do is to grab our little plastic cover here spin it around to this section here and then this just goes on like so then we grab our light that light we've got left uh, now it goes with the connector uh, if you're looking at it like this the connector goes up uh, or the connector goes closest to the rim here now all we need to do is grab the black screws that we had in that we got loaded in the last issue need to grab our screwdriver and what we need to do is to screw this down let's just turn this around it gives us a bit more of a an angle here About lining up and screwing in like so. And there we go. Tighten these up like so. Um, I'm just going to bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see what I'm actually trying to do here. There's, there's so much, it's not a lot of room in, in here. I'm just going to try and use another screwdriver, a smaller one that I've got with another build. There we go. So that is in place. Uh, let's just have a little look. Uh, there it is there. It's secured in there. So that is what we do for this next bit is we need to now create this lens so uh, we have this one here so what we do is we spin this around here and now what we do is we create this section here so first things first is we put the uh, this silver bit in here like so I would imagine it's a little bit like that because this uh, it's got almost a uh, bigger edge that goes round like so. Uh, next bit that we do. <coughs> now. Okay, so. 
uh, this this top bit needs to be the end the bigger bit here and um, with this cutout needs to be the opposite end so the opposite end to this section here so it needs to sit in like that obviously it moves around anyway uh, then our next bit is to just basically put this over the top here like so So basically this little bit here, you can see that, and like a, a little catch there that sits into this groove here, like so. And then that little bit just sits there. So what we've got to do now is grab two more block screws. Trying to grab uh, another one. <laughs> so all we need to do now is to grab this section. I'm better holding it this way for a minute. Now, obviously that goes through here, and then these sections here sort of tally up. So it's all about just positioning it in. There we go. So it is in. You can uh, you can see that there. Next thing is now just to get our screws and screw it in. Okay, so I've gone ahead and screwed that as you can see here, uh, just there, and that's what it's like. That is where our uh, our projector will sit. So now we come on to the outside. So. The next thing to do is to insert these two sections here. So, here it is here. So it says to drop a bit of glue on uh, each of these. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, to put the glue on, I'm just going to write the base here. Just run it round. One in there, and the same here. So just at the very, the very base of it, just run it round. And there they are. Uh, so those sections there, as you can see, they've gone in very nicely. So that is that section done. So, so far, um, the outside's actually looking complete. Now, uh, we'll show you a, I'll show you a little bit of that in a minute. So we're still not finished with this issue. So next, what we've got to do is we now need to turn this upside down. And we've got to fit these three here into our dome so let's get these out of the packet okay so we've got these out of the packaging so the first one now these have um a little plastic tab on here as you can see and so basically they go like this so the tab goes down and then we're using the little silver screws we have and this is the first one here that go in and on a second before we get started it's these screws here that we need so the short uh, little thick ones it's the best way of describing what they are because they like us guessing um, it does, it, it's not very clear on the, uh, on the magazine either. It just says like these tapping ones and these tapping screws and, oh, I've got so many different coloured ones. Okay. So there's our first one. Our next two are going to be going here and here. 
So first things first is to find the guide hole, which we've just done. Oop. There it is. Oop. There we go. Another one. And our last one, which goes just here. Let's get both hands in there. Just here. Now these clips are for uh, holding down our wires because there's going to be quite a bit in here. There we go. So that screw signifies the last of now I'm just gonna actually put some of these wires underneath just to pull them out of the way which is about where they're gonna go anyway uh, just because they're uh, they're a bit of a pain and they keep getting tangled and everything so as you can see this is how it's gonna work there we go. So anyway, um, there goes our clips and eventually they'll do exactly what I've just done. This is just keeping them out of the way. Then they're, they're really loose in there. I mean, and they're not going to be hard to get in and out. As you can see here, I'm pulling them in and out and they're not going to damage the wires or anything. Um, and that is it for our build. So let's have a quick look around the outside. So the outside of our dome is actually now completely complete it's uh yep it's all done all done and dusted let's uh all the stuff that's happening now is in is internal nothing external though i have added this um you know this just clicks on and off um it doesn't told us to fit it yet I've fitted it just so it's out of the way and it's in but with it on it's completed anyway and uh, as you can see here there we go uh, so questions have asked about how to keep the dome uh, shiny and everything like that uh, uh, there's various uh, there's different varieties of oils that you can buy uh, but I found that WD-40 works really well just with a dry cloth, little bit of WD-40 on the cloth, and then just buff it over. Um, though I don't know if um, <laughs> I don't know if R2 would actually have, someone would do that to him. He's over the years he's he's been a bit battered and and bruised, so having a bit of a a rustic look to him would be a little bit better. Uh, but that is it, really. Um, for this week as you can see should we have a look see what's coming next week let's do that okay next time it's issue 66 which we'll be doing here at the geek down some more of the plastic screws here uh, then we have the distribution distribution board All right so this will probably be uh, the plastic covering uh, plastic fixture for that uh, I do believe also as well we get to fit the projector in next time um so it's coming along really nicely and hopefully we'll see you at the next video